y'all how y'all doing today it's your crochet and i'm back with another freaking video now today i actually want to do a story time y'all because i'm just staring at my job and i'm like i kind of thinking about going to the hospital because i am at a healthcare facility but hospitals they get paid a little more and um i could make more money and still work the same hours and most likely because they have so many employees there um i don't have to work all these extra hours like sometimes they depend on me i've been working the weekend and stuff. they just been depending on me i've been thinking about going back, the, back to the hospital but it hit me that like i can't do hospitals y'all i cannot do hospitals this is the reason why i told myself i could never be like a nurse or anything like that because i just can't I'm, i get too emotional right i get too emotional sorry i had to go on my break and seeing some stuff at the hospital like i see stuff here it gets a little scary but then like it's nothing like the hospital like i've seen some stuff in the hospital i've seen a woman come in she had uh she was pregnant big and pregnant she's screaming you know screaming to go to the the delivery you know and she's bleeding down there liquid is coming out stuff is falling out and i'm like oh two three in the morning like whoa it's a, it's a lot and i remember y'all i i don't know why it came to me i completely forgot i don't know how i forgot but i remember there was this young kid he wasn't a kid kid he was he was you know like in high school he was in high school he played a sport i think he played football football or basketball but he was the, the mom was bragging about he was a star you know he had so many scholarships and everybody wanted him and things were amazing for him but she said you know he came in um with a, a chest like a, a, his chest was hurting and he had a headache and so they had to skip practice for him to come in and you know um at our place they we have to give them um like visitor badges so we have to take her, their id and you know scan them in and so the mom told me a little bit of information so they went back there and at my job there's three people there is somebody who's in the lobby there is somebody who's in the emergency room which that's where i was and then there is a third person who walks the entire building only for an hour every hour we switch y'all every hour we switch and then i would go outside and then the next person who was in the lobby comes to earth not urgent care to the um emergency room and it just goes in circles every hour until we're off and it was literally the beginning of my hour you know so i remember walking we get to walk through um the emergency room too and then back to the main lobby desk i mean lobby desk, the emergency lobby desk you know so after i checked them in they got called back fast that's one thing i loved about that hospital that hospital shoot sometimes they call you back as fast as you give them their name like yeah my name is doo -doo -doo. okay Oop, doo -doo -doo. like what the heck they get called back fast so i did my walk through and then um i remember i was sitting back in the lobby and then i don't know why i'm gonna say he's a preacher he don't have to be a preacher i don't know if he was a preacher or not because i didn't ask him his business but his grandpa came in grandpa came in and i'm gonna say grandpa's a preacher just because of the way he dressed you know how some pre preachers dress the uh suit and ties and then after i seen him do something later on i was like he's definitely a preacher he's either a preacher or he's just very 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 you know just sanctified you know what i'm saying um he came in he's like i'm here for my grandson um and at that time there was no there was no like hold on or anything like you can have as many people back then you're, you can have as many people with you as possible like covid changed it all like nobody can come back there or only one back then if nine nine family members came nine family members could go back there at that time right so i let him back walked into it walked into them and everything everything was good everything was good again i see the boy he's sitting there laughing talking all type of stuff so then I'm I'm back in the lobby. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I don't. Nothing's happening. So then I go back to do my round one more time. I'm like, okay, times is ticking. It's about to be an hour. Let me walk around one more time. Let me walk around one more time before the next person comes in. Right. 
when I get back there, this is why I can't be a nurse, okay? When things happen, I freeze up. Ain't no, you know, oh, she works real fast under pressure. She works crazy under pressure. She's, I'm not one of them. I'm letting you know, I'm gonna get nervous. I'm gonna stop, look like, I'm gonna freeze. I'm gonna freeze up, right? So as soon as I got back there, I was walking back there. And see, I know I hear an emergency response over the, over the intercom. And I'm seeing people running, 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 running. And by the time I get a few steps down the hall, I see the boy, okay? He is bleeding, like he's choking, <coughs> coughing and choking, and blood is coming not only from his nose, but his mouth. And I'm stuck, I am stuck. And they are, they finally just start closing the thing, and when, after they close it, I'm still stuck, like, I'm stuck on it, and I'm, I'm like, I know for one, for a fact, I messed up because I'm supposed to in that time when things are happening you're supposed to calm the parent down or move the parent out of the way so the doctors and everything could could work on the, the patient you know the mom was right there the mom was screaming and yelling and crying and I'm I'm supposed to grab the mom and get the mom out of the way because the nurses and stuff I'm stuck I'm stuck I'm literally just looking I am looking and I'm just like, cause I'm like, please don't let anything happen to this boy. Like the mom was just sitting there talking about all the scholarships and the sports and he's number one in here and he's this and he's that and he's straight A student and he's like, what is going on? What is going on? What is going on? Next thing I know, you know, things are going slow motion. Like I'm looking at this, I'm looking at this, this person running, this person shutting the 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 little curtain the mom is screaming and yelling and they're trying to push mom back and I'm like what the heck what the heck and the boy is like down down and they're just like oh I'm like what oh my god what and I look down on the ground I didn't see grandpa I didn't, on the ground I didn't realize grandpa is on the ground praying grandpa is he grandpa stopped everything he was doing and prayed grandpa was on his his knees just praying he was just praying and then the nurse that's when the nurse was finally like okay i need everybody to move everybody back up everybody move everybody back up and i'm still kind of stuck <laughs> y'all i'm kind of stuck to where i'm just like what the heck what's going on what's going on what's going on and then finally my coworker tapped me and i'm like yes he was just like i don't know what's going on but it's time to switch and i tried to then I just kind of like woke up like oh <sighs> I said there's this boy he's 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 in sports and he's this he's that he came here for a headache and chest pains he's now bleeding out the mouth and they can't stop it they can't control it grandpa is on the ground praying mom is over there screaming I I'm I don't know what to do I don't know what to do I don't know what to do and he was just like calm down calm down calm down it's time to switch I'll try to like let you know what happens after that but while i was walking out of there to go to the my next you know my next part which i think was outside um no i was going to the lobby i was in the main lobby i was going to the main lobby and um that i heard them say call call a call the helicopter because at that hospital it was a very 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 small hospital they couldn't they don't do everything there they don't do everything there. They only do the minimal. If it's not the minimal, they mainly send you to a bigger hospital depending on your your um, your stuff that come back, your EKG and things like that. Once things come back, um, it kind of depends. Like they'd be like, okay, we can help you here. Or they'd be like, okay, we're sending you here, period. So um, they said they were calling a helicopter because they couldn't help him. They didn't know. And whatever, whatever his EKG came back, they said his EKG came back. I don't know what that stuff means. I don't know what it read out. I don't know what happened. But <sighs> sorry, I had to run outside for a second real quick. And it is still coming down. But anyway, um, I, on the computer, the computer does tell you too much, okay? I see that's why where I'm at, they do not, we are not allowed on the computer. Um, the computer tells you, like, if you read it, it tells you, like, 
the EKG and stuff like that. I couldn't read that stuff. I don't know what that stuff meant. But it had like levels and all that stuff. And I'm just sitting there looking at it and I'm just praying too. I'm just praying that everything is okay with this boy. Like, I don't know what the heck is going on. I just don't know. Uh, after that, a few minutes, helicopters come fast, okay? After that, a few minutes, literally, you hear the helicopter. You hear the helicopter. So I'm like, okay, it's landing, it's landing. It's picking the boy up, it's picking the boy up. And then, guess what? They leave. They leave. And that's it. That's why I can't be be at a hospital. Because the way that you talk to these people and you get to know these people and they tell you their life and then something like that happens and you want to know what happens. I want to know what happened to that boy. I pray. I pray that he's still alive. I pray that whatever happened was fixed and that he is out there um, that was a few years ago, and I said he had, they, he had scholarships. So I hope he chose the college. I hope he's playing sports. But I don't know what happened. Literally. Even after I finally switched in there, I was just kind of like, hey, what happened? Oh, he was transferred to this hospital. Everything, every, when I say everything is transferred over, everything, his, all his information, everything gets transferred over. And it doesn't stay in the system. It doesn't say, okay, this person woke up. This person's now in this room. This person now. I don't know. And for a long time, because I knew his name and I knew what hospital they were going to, I, for sure, I did want to go to the hospital. But I felt like that's me doing more than my job. And then I didn't want, like, if the, if the mom ever felt any type of way or anything like that, just say if she did. I could get in trouble. Because... You know, why are you stalking the boy and figured out like where he, what hospital he's going to? And but like, I was really, really, really invested, and I just pray and I just hope at the end of the day that boy was okay. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I can't be in healthcare for that reason. I can't be in healthcare for that reason. There's also another lady that I fell in love with at the hospital. She was amazing. She just had Alzheimer's. So sometimes she wake up and she be she be dripping. She be tripping, but she also had other things that was wrong with her while she was in the hospital. But she had Alzheimer's. And she and I say some some days we had to just lock her down. Lock her to that bed. Sometimes we had to do that because she was little. But on days where she was good, she was amazing. She told you all type of stories and stuff. That's why I, I love Grey's Anatomy and stuff like that because guess what? When you watch Grey's Anatomy, you know what happens. They work on the person. They, they show you. And then the person wake up or the person don't. Like, you know what happens on Grey's Anatomy. I also watch Night Shift, too. You know. Being in the hospital and stuff like that happens and somebody gets sent away to a hospital and you just don't know, it, it bothers you. I don't know what happened to that boy. And I just pray. I, got, I, just, I pray he got through it. I pray. Grandpa didn't know playing. I'm telling you, Grandpa, once he seen all that blood, Grandpa got down and started praying. Grandpa didn't say nothing. Grandpa wasn't like, it's okay, baby. No, Grandpa got down and started praying. Grandpa got down. I think about it all the time. And I, I used to think about it all the time. I completely forgot. And I, but it's, I'm sitting here thinking like, hmm, I should go back to the hospital. Heck no. Because seeing stuff like that, the second your hospital can't handle what is going on, that helicopter comes, and you'll never know what happens after that. You'll never know. And you can't call the hospital like, hey, um, there was a boy by the name of Bloom 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 and his birthday is Bloom Bloom. Can you tell me what happened? They don't tell you. you they can't tell you. They can't tell you. So that's just that's just what happened and I, I just I, it bothers me it bothers me because I really wanted to know what happened but I like I said I pray that he's okay I pray that he kept going I pray that he's in sports and I don't know what happened literally like I said he came in with a chest pain and a headache and all that blood blood started coming from everywhere his nose his mouth at first he was laying back there laughing and how strong he was and then sports and the mom was just bragging yeah yeah, yeah my son my son my son and it went left. 
all that happened in less than an hour. Less than one hour. That's just going to end this video here, y'all. Catch y'all in the next one. See you later. Bye.